wanted to make a quick video that shows how you take uh, the best way to take points off your data collector and uh, export your data or topo or shots or whatever it might be. So if you go into the job and you go into the work order that you use to, to take shots, uh, you don't need to design, just accept. So the best thing that you want to do is if we want to get these points off the data collector, but we maybe we have some old shots that we didn't need in the same work order. It's not a big deal, but if uh, if you don't do it this way, it's it's hard to separate those points. So if you go into your menu, data management, export measured data. So you want CSV file, point northing easting is what you want. Uh, include QA data, yes, but include control points, no. We don't we don't care to to duplicate the control points and export them. Uh, and then the only other option you really need to worry about is this uh, file location. If you have your data collector and you plug a flash drive into it, when you drop this down, it'll give you the option to hit memory card, and then it will it'll export this file directly to your your flash drive, so you can bring it to a computer. Uh, in this case, I don't have a flash drive plugged in, so I'm just going to hit device, and I'll show where that goes. Uh, so just hit accept. So I'm going to close out of SiteWorks. So when you export to device, even if it's on your data collector, in your C drive, Trimble Synchronizer data, PC, SCS 900 data, if you go to that project, you go to the work order, it'll be under this output. So this was just, uh, just exported. So if we open this up, expand the date column this allows you to to see the date the time that the shot was taken uh, there's more information you can see uh, cut fill to uh, to the design there's, there's a lot of information in here uh, usually the, the the best thing you really, really the only thing you need to look at is usually the date so in this case maybe this first shot that was taken a while before is not needed so you could delete that and then these might be the shots we can double check. Uh, if you have a bunch of shots, you can select all, data, sort, and you can drop down sort by date, newest to oldest if you want. It'll rearrange them so that you can see the newest shots. Uh, sending files this way is a little bit easier for someone looking at, uh, looking at shots from your, from your job. Uh, at least allows you to sort it by date, and it's pretty quick and easy to do uh, right from your data collector.